Hello everyone. Welcome to Top 7 YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Top 7 Largest Landfills, Waste Sites, and Trash Dumps in the World. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Let's start. Number 07. Delhi Landfills, New Delhi, India. 500 acres. The city of New Delhi generates about 9,000 to 9,200 tons of municipal solid waste daily, according to the Municipal Council of Delhi, MCD. This waste is deposited in the Nalabawana, Boswa, Okla, and Ghazi per landfills which have a combined acreage of 316. Except for Nalabawana, the newest landfill, the others have been exhausted, though waste continues being dumped upon them. Balswa, which was to be closed when garbage reached to a height of 22 meters, still operates although garbage is now up to 41 meters. In 2013, to counter the exhaustion problem, the MCD sought approval from the Delhi Development Authority for an extra 500 acres, where a new waste disposal site could be set up. In India, 20% of the methane gas produced emanates from its landfills. The International Energy Agency reports that New Delhi could generate 25 megawatts of power if methane was effectively tapped for such purposes from the New Delhi landfills. Number 06 Sudok 1, Incheon, South Korea. 570 acres. Since its inception in 1992, the 4,292-acre Sudok 1 landfill in Incheon, South Korea receives 18,000 to 20,000 tons of waste daily from Seoul, with the 22 million in population in the South Korean capital city. It's the country's largest landfill. The methane gas in the waste at the Sudok 1 landfill is tapped to produce 50 megawatts of electric power, according to South Korea's Ministry of Environment. The landfill also has a water recycling and desalination facility, and water recycled is used for irrigation and other purposes. Over 700,000 trees have been planted on the Sudok 1 landfill, according to South Pole Carbon Asset Management Limited. The activities there have created 200 jobs and nearly 50,000 students and children tour the landfill to learn about sustainable waste management practices and climate change. There is also a waste museum on the site. Sudok 1 landfill serves as a model of how waste resources can best be tapped to achieve a positive impact. Number 05. Puente Hills, Los Angeles, California, USA. 630 acres. Over the course of three decades until its closure on October 31, 2013, the Puente Hills landfill had received over 130 million tons of Los Angeles's municipal waste. It was also the nation's largest landfill, and still retains an operational materials recovery facility. The landfill, According to the Sanitation Districts of Los Angeles County, Laxt, had opened in 1957 as the privately owned San Gabriel Valley Dump. Over a year after its closure, on January 20, 2015, the Puente Hills landfill began accepting clean fill dirt for a period of 12 to 24 months. During its peak operations, the landfill could receive up to 13,200 tons of trash in a single day according to Laxt. The methane gas the landfill generated was converted to turn a turbine that generated 50 megawatts of power, enough for 70,000 homes in Southern California. Puente Hills landfill is in the process of being converted into a recreational regional park. The 630-acre Puente Hill landfill was in a 1,365-acre land area. Number 04. Malagrata, Rome, Italy. 680 acres. 
The 618-acre Malagrotta landfill in Rome, Italy has a holding capacity of 60 million tons. During the late 70s, the landfill was an illegal dump, but was made legal in 1984. Daily, it receives between 4,500 and 5,000 tons of waste, making it the largest municipal solid waste facility in Europe, according to environmental justice organizations, liabilities, and trade, EJOLT. The methane gas produced from decomposing waste there is DAP to be used for electricity and fuel. However, the site has caused considerable environmental damage in the Galleria Valley where it's located. This has included contamination of air, underground aquifers, and soils with poisonous chemicals such as arsenic, mercury, high amounts of ammonia, nitrogen, and bacteria. Number 03 Liagang, Shanghai, China 830 acres At 892 acres in area and piled 20 meters high, the Liagang landfill in Shanghai city is one of the biggest in Asia. It receives up to 10,000 tons of municipal solid waste daily, half of the city's total waste, according to the Shanghai municipal government. Veolia the French company in charge of power generation at Lea Gang Landfill, also reported in 2014 that methane emissions from the landfill had been reduced by 25,800 metric tons, and there were 542,000 metric tons of avoided CO2 emissions as well. Veolia, the French company in charge of power generation at Lea Gang Landfill, also reported in 2014 that methane emissions from the landfill had been reduced by 25,800 metric tons, and there were 542,000 metric tons of avoided CO2 emissions as well. In a year, China generates 189 million tons of waste, according to a 2012 World Bank report on solid waste management around the world. Number 02 Porto Poniente, Mexico City, Mexico, 927 acres. Until its closure in December of 2011, the 927 acre Porto Poniente landfill in Mexico City received 12,000 of the 15,000 tons of waste generated in the city daily. It was the biggest landfill in Latin America according to the Global Alliance for Incinerator Alternatives, GAIA. Bordo Poniente Landfill, initially a dry lake bed, was established in 1985 to take debris from the 1985 Mexico City earthquake, according to the Gaia. An estimated 70 million tons of waste had been deposited there from the 21.2 million in population city over its life according to a 2012 study by the University of Mexico. Upon its closure, over 1,500 families who collected recyclable waste for reselling lost their jobs. As of 2014, plans were made by the Mexican government to tap into the landfill's methane gases to produce 60 megawatts of electric power. That will eliminate 1.5 million tons of methane gas generated there yearly. Number 01. Apex Regional, Las Vegas, Nevada. USA. 2,200 acres. The 2,200-acre Apex Regional Landfill in Las Vegas daily receives about 9,000 tons of municipal solid waste, though it can handle up to 15,000 tons daily. The landfill managed by Republic Services opened in 1993, and is the biggest in the U.S. It has a projected life of 250 years, according to the Review Journal, and holds about 50 million tons of waste. Methane gas from the landfill has resulted in generation of an 11 megawatt power plant that can meet the energy needs of 10,000 households in southern Nevada. The power generating plant was built at a cost of $35 million. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency reports that landfill gas accounts for 17.7% of all the nation's methane emissions. That's why tapping power from these landfills helps in reducing methane, a greenhouse gas, from
from the environment. 